is in the flesh. Maestro. Okay, uh, everybody's excited that you're going to be getting together with your friend John Krasinski for a new movie called Imaginary Friends that John has written and is directing. Yeah. Have you started yet? Yes. You've started? I have started. Now, last time you... How long ago since you guys have worked together? Oh, I mean, since the end of The Office. So last time you saw him, he didn't he didn't have a beard and wasn't jacked the way no. he is now. No, no. Is no. it different? Completely different Because he was kind of like, you know, kind of like, uh... But he's the same guy. He's exactly the same guy. Sure. And he's such a great director. Like, he really fantastic. is. Yeah, he really is a fantastic yeah. director. He directed he directed you in The Office, and mm -hmm. you directed The Office. A few of them, uh, yeah. Of the two or three times. Yeah. What's that... A, what's it like to be directed by another ensemble member, and what's it like to to put that hat on yourself. I don't have a lot of context. On The Office, it was so easy because we were all super good friends and mm. we were all supporting each other mm. and we all wanted each other to succeed. So that part of it, I mean, when, some, when one of the cast or one of the writers became a director, everyone was totally behind them. And so it was, it was kind of easy. And everybody knew their characters so well and you could only shoot in that small space. So there weren't a lot of options in terms of setting up a shot. <laughs> uh, so it was, it was kind of simple. Not a lot of flying jibs <laughs> no, or anything no, like that. No. Mm -hmm. um, well, you've got yet uh, a, a, another project that we just saw a clip from right there. Uh, kind of funny, kind of spooky. Uh, called the patient, right? Where uh, Donald Gleason is your patient, and yes. he is, am I giving anything away to say that he's the serial killer? You blew it. <laughs> sorry, you I'm don't sorry. find now that no out until episode ten. <laughs> no, yes, he is a serial killer. He yeah. abducts um, his therapist, yes. me, yeah. and chains him up in his basement, his little rec room downstairs, because he wants to really get some intensive therapy going. Sure. Yeah, as you do. Sure. Right. Also, a very limited set to shoot on. Right. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, that... Mm -hmm. Well, I was chained that up... That would appeal to you about this? Was that you didn't mm -hmm. have to go to a lot of different locations? I didn't... Well, yes, yes. I thought, oh, that'll be easy. But I didn't think the part through that they're really... They're chaining me up to the floor. And it's a... Why did... Why did can't they just do a fake chain? I wanted a real chain because it's got a different heft to it and it's got, you know, it makes you feel a certain way when you have a real chain and a real lock. I wouldn't know. No. <laughs> I'm flattered. But Let's I see. Would... <laughs> yeah. No, you're good. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. No, it was, it, there was, there was an actual, there was a visceral feeling to it. But are you actually locked, locked in? They had, the first day they had one key and I thought, you better make some duplicates for this thing. <laughs> Because, what if there's a fire? Because if there's a fire or an earthquake or something, they're out of there. Or a and lion. I'm saying, hell, me. Yeah, or, or a lion. Or a lion or on a set lion Hollywood, any moment. Anything can happen. It's a back lot. The lion comes over from MGM. One of the first days, um, everybody went to lunch. And I was like, hey. And I was, I was last to the catering table. <laughs> they, they didn't unlock well, you? Well, they forgot. Like, they were... They forgot Steve Carell was chained to the bed? Well... They were hungry, so, <laughs> you know, it's okay. You're very, you're very yeah, forgiving. I mean, very forgiving. I'm, I'm over. You're I'm, over I'm, it? I'm overstating it. Okay. No, I'm not over it. I'm not over anything. I'm, I'm, re I'm 60. I'm ready for anything, Stephen. <laughs> and it's important. <laughs> yes. It's very important in Hollywood to never let a grudge go. That's what I know. Never forgive anyone for anything. That's what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and shout. It's easy to hold. I'm a great grudge holder. I'm really good. Oh, yeah, I know you are. Make a little list. Sure. Mm. The, things, the things you've got on me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm it writing a, a book, camera. actually. What? I'm writing a book about you. Oh, really? Yeah. Do you need a blurb or anything like that? No, no, no. You'll see. <laughs> we, we have to take a quick break, uh, but stick around. We'll be right back with more Mr. Steve Carell, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.